Okay. This is shorter than anticipated, but let's... You can see my DLC is literally three people. <laughs> I was thinking maybe getting geese. That's literally the only other one I care about. I'm sorry, fans of other people. Maybe Lei Wulong. So I thought, you know, I haven't done a Tekken video. I keep failing to do a Tekken video because I don't keep in practice with Tekken. I'll just do a quick test arcade run because I forgot that the arcade mode is like five fights. Uh, this was just going to be to see how it goes. And then we'll do some treasure battles because they'll actually have some like stuff. Playing Farquharam. What a ridiculous torso that's completely unsustainable as a human being without roids. Now, I like playing as King normally. Uh, like, my mains in this are basically King, Farquharam, some, some Huarong, but not very often. Uh, who else? Anyway, let's just focus on this. So I'm just doing the basic combos here and trying to remember some shit. Uh, just, you know, it's actually been about a month or so. Yeah. Obviously, this is level one, so he's not going to be hard. Basically, if you want to follow what they're saying, either learn Thai to understand what Fakaram is saying, or learn how to read traditional Chinese characters. I believe the subtitles are Cantonese for this version of the game. I don't know how to change it because the menus are also Cantonese. So, yeah. Or if I even can change it. <coughs> Ripped Asian man destroys German twink. In in the rave souk, rave market. If you went to the market today and this happened, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm just here for apples. <clears throat> so yeah, you can see the AI is literally just standing there and like occasionally throwing out a single punch or kick. I I have this on my normal difficulty. I swear. I forgot that button does that, and now I'm like, oh yeah, turning kick. Yeah, there's, there's the axe kick. That was a terrible time to attempt to throw. Just kind of remembering the buttons. <coughs> Farquharam has some... Has some really good range and some pretty decent combos, and it means that you can really, like... You know, you really do some stuff with him. <clears throat> that basically means that they lose all momentum and then just get put through the meat grinder a bit. It's pretty good. Uh, I really like it, the character's moveset because I really actually was trying to get in uh, playing Josie for a long time because she was the only Muay Thai representative in Tekken because they got rid of Bruce. And... She was okay, but her character was so annoying. She still is. I still play her occasionally. Because they play very differently, which is very cool. kind of stood there and let me do that though so it's like it's not really like the AI is fighting me at all oh there we go he got a sidekick in I did a random like handstand there it's to assert dominance I swear
close. Just kind of swinging my legs around, hoping for the best. I really do like Tekken. I just, for some reason, never play it. <laughs> like, it's very bizarre. Like, it's one of those games where I'm like, ah, oh, super cool, I love this game. And then I just do not play it for like a month. Then I pick it up again and go, oh, yeah, I love this game. Same with Pokemon. Oh, these load times, man. <laughs> Random camera pan to hide the fact that it hadn't fully loaded then. <laughs> Yeah, so normally Heihachi would put up more of a fight than this. So I'm starting to wonder what happened, but like he just... The speed at which I'm just putting stuff out and he's just like trying to hit me with some basic like stuff and like low hits and shit. Oh, well done, he tripped me up a little bit there, but like... Even when he gets me in the corner, I'm just battering the guy. Oh, how long was that? Like 20 seconds. <laughs> Very strange. And we unlocked Akuma because I perfected like three, four times there. Uh, not that it was that hard because they weren't really doing anything and the, just the volume of strikes with Fakaram is just so much that it just interrupts a lot of stuff and does just about enough damage that the AI can't really reset it very easily. Nice shot here. It's a pretty good shot. Shorakuma. I don't know what you're saying. Sir. I kind of start feeling the pressure, even though I haven't, for the rest of this arcade mode. And I kind of start going, huh, what what the buttons do? And I fall for the, the standard Akuma shit for a little bit. <laughs> Does throwing someone straight after a, a failed sure you can count as a punish? I don't even know. <laughs> It felt too slow. <laughs> like it felt like it was just like the it wasn't a true punish. Like he's too fast, Fakaram almost. Like, you know, like the <laughs> uh, I suddenly just let him get a load of hits in and I feel like an idiot, so I just yeah. Oh great. Gonna show the rage arc because I haven't yet. Now, in the future, I'll use a lot more Fakaram stuff, like his more advanced stuff, but you know. I was really expecting a Shinokuma fight here. There was not. So yeah, I really want to get back into doing more of this stuff and practicing a lot more. I've always really liked Tekken. Uh, I'll probably do some more of the channel on this later. Uh, it's pretty good fun. But yeah, no ending cutscene, very short arcade mode. I think we've all said when Tekken 7 came out at first. It's a very strange choice, but there you go. 